Hello friends. Today I am going to show you how to use chicken wire as the base mechanic in your foam free centerpieces. I will talk you through the mechanics, the how to, how much chicken wire you need, the size of chicken wire that you need, and show you exactly how I like to base up the chicken wire in our vessels. I will then put together a little bit of a design to show you the ins and outs in terms of how easy it is to actually go foam free with your centerpieces. I will of course talk you through the production considerations, the ins and outs, and as always share with you the exact approach to pricing this arrangement. Alrighty Roo, and in terms of what you will need, obviously a container. This is a six inch compote. I love these as a smaller option for table centerpieces. So six inches. You will obviously need snips, pot tape, and chicken wire, right? In this instance, and my preference for table arrangements is the chicken wire that actually has the larger holes to it. So we just use the non-plastic coated version of chicken wire, and this is the five centimeter or two inch diameter chicken wire. The biggest question I get asked when it comes to basing up your containers is how much chicken wire? When it comes to us and our design style, my preference is that we actually have multiple layers of chicken wire. So that's why I like to use the chicken wire that has the bigger holes in it. This is the five centimeter diameter chicken wire. And what you're actually looking to do is create a nest, right? Something that actually has multiple layers to it that you will tuck into your container. How you go about that is you will be looking for a piece of chicken wire that is approximately twice the width, twice the diameter, and then it's going to need to give you three to four rolls of chicken wire that can sit within this vessel. The best thing about this approach to using chicken wire and having lots of layers in there is if you cut your chicken wire and there isn't quite enough of it, you can just continue to add layers within the actual container. So there's no such thing as this needing to be perfect the first time around. And my personal preference is to have a little bit more chicken wire in the vessel than you think is necessary. That is how I learned to move away from flower foam. And what you're simply going to do is start to roll up your chicken wire so that you are creating a bit of a sphere, but it's really important that it's not too tight and that you actually will have layers on the inside of your nest. So it's not one solid ball of chicken wire, but there are actual layers on the inside of it. I like to think of it a little bit like a planet. <laughs> be careful of these loose bits because they can be quite sharp. And I know that looks like a complete hot mess, but you'll put it in your container. And instead of shoving it all the way down, get your fingers in there and push some of the layers down because you don't want to completely deflate your chicken wire. So you can see that when you look at this from an angle, that there are actually layers of chicken wire inside, right? That's exactly what you want. And you can see there's quite a bit more chicken and wire in there than you might expect. One of the things in terms of being able to use a container like this is that for our clients, we will quote this as a higher item so that we can get this back, which means we will also actually get this chicken wire back so we can recycle it and repurpose it multiple times out. And in actual fact, I've seen more rust damage happen on the inside of my containers than I've ever seen happen on the chicken wire. Then you will take one piece of tape You do want it to come just over the edge and not too far down, otherwise you will need to cover that up with something. So part of the trick of floristry is making everything appear as an illusion 
make it magical. So that is the actual mechanic of basing up the container. One thing I love about making the shift towards doing more foam-free designs is that you can actually create this work more than 24 hours in advance of the event. Because the flowers are actually sitting in fresh water, all you need to do is remember to top up the container and depending on how hot it is around you, that might need to be once a day, twice a day, three times a day. Just remember to keep an eye on the amount of water that's in your container. Plus, the other thing to keep in mind is that when you are transporting these to the venue, no doubt you will absolutely lose some water through the transportation process. So when you're packing them into the back of your delivery vehicle, be sure to include some towels or something that can help soak up that water and doesn't make a complete mess. Plus, remember that when you get to the venue to take a little watering can and remember to top up each one of your arrangements once it's been placed on the table. When it comes to sorting out pricing for this style of arrangement, we will still, in this instance, assume it's going to be for an event, which means we will use the industry standard of 30% labor markup, four times wholesale product, plus tax. In this instance, I'm going to assume that the vessel is something that we are actually going to rent out and I'm going to charge a higher fee separate to this costing. So for the sake of simplicity, we're not going to include any cost at this moment for the vessel. Our hard goods or our sundries, so we're going to have chicken wire and tape. I am going to allocate $4. Now, for the ingredients that we used in here, we had Cosmos, one Glad, we'll say half a bunch of Heidi, three Garden Roses, a touch of Emil, and Smokebush Foliage, plus the Hookah Leaves. Chicken wire and tape, $4. Cosmos, we're going to assume we have half a bunch, which will be four dollars and remember as well these prices when you're listing them here are going to be your wholesale prices so how much you are buying them from your grower or from your wholesaler and it is before tax one glad stem half a bunch of heidi three garden roses touch of a meal we'll assume about one dollar smoke bush four dollars hookah leaves let's give it one dollar so if we do this math, 2880. So based on that equation, we are then going to multiply 2880 times four. Then we're going to add 30% labor. Then because it's Australia, we are adding 10% tax. So the total that you come to is 164.74, or I would round that up to 175 for this size of arrangement. And remember that does not include any higher fee or the cost of your container. And I hope that that little tutorial has been really helpful in terms of helping you evolve towards doing more foam free floral design. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and have a beautiful day, friends.